hi everyone I just wanted to add this a uh, little bit on to the end of the uh, short and sweet video called directing the energy in that I described how I set the intention to work with a particular person or animal even if I don't know their name it's all by intention and I also covered how um, people or animals nearby might also pick the energy up by using the analogy of shining a torch into the forest at one particular tree and the other trees at the side um, also being illuminated but not to such a great extent but I wanted to go a bit more in depth about the sharing of the energy because another question I get asked quite frequently is if a person and a horse or somebody comes to me and says would you um, work with both me and my horse and would you do it at the same time uh, you know, do one session. I tend to always say no. I'll always say I'll do the person first because quite often if we change, we then help the horse to change and the horse might actually not need a session in, at the end of the day. But uh, it may be that I'll work with the person first and then we'll work with the horse two or three weeks later. But the other thing is I definitely put an intention on a single system, be it a person or an animal because my feel is that they are unique and so their connection to the field and what they might need to bring themselves back into balance is unique and I'm conditioning the field for them. I don't know up here what is actually needed but my work is about conditioning the field for that system. And I was trying to think of an analogy where you know I have many people say that their other horses tend to react or maybe the horse that I'm actually um, directing it at, the intention is with, keeps on eating, which is absolutely fine. But the horse next door goes in the zone, goes, you know, all quiet and head down and, and sleepy. Um, I've also had it where <laughs> I've worked with a horse and the person said the horse didn't really react during the session, but the pig that they had next door had a whale of a time. And so it could be, well, you know, why can't you work with everything in one session? So the way I look at it is just suppose, say we're looking at people because it becomes a clearer uh, analogy and say I'm working with somebody who really likes classical music, say Beethoven. So if you think that when I put my intention out to them, I am playing them Beethoven, which they absolutely adore and is their thing. And just suppose somebody is walking past at that moment or maybe standing nearby and their passion is actually rock music, hard, heavy rock. But they hear the Beethoven music playing and they think, oh, actually, that's not bad. That's quite nice. And so that bathes into them and they pick it up, but it's not their thing. So you, that's how I feel they might get an effect as well, but it's not particular to them. And for me, my work is being particular to each system that I work with. So that's how I feel you know, as I said in the previous video, you get buy one, get one for free sometimes, that I might be playing a particular music to suit this one horse, but the other horses hear it and they go, oh, that's quite nice. Not exactly my thing, but yeah, I'm quite enjoying that. And so they pick it up and go in the zone um, at the same time. So I hope that makes sense, but it's a really good question about why do I only work with one system and also how the the conditioning of the field might affect those systems nearby so until the next time take care and lots of love